What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to some more Life is Strange. If you didn't watch the last episode, uh, you might want to do that. Things have happened. This might work. Please work. Why didn't I see these pictures before? All right. I hope we could save Chloe somehow. I don't understand how this focusing crap works, man. Oh, uh, that's close. Damn it, I lost it. Oh, so close! Nope. Nope. Okay. Ah, so spoops. <clears throat> I'm getting some spectacular images here. Man. So I guess he doesn't. He's not the yes. answer to why I have powers. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand now. Connection. Connection. Yeah. Ah, I see. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You will have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, <laughs> Max. I'm so glad you asked Cause he's question. crazy. But simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white, to gray, and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like hmm. an aura. And those They're crazy, but interesting. Become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. <laughs> He's On amused. Contrary, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Um. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. I wonder if we could have saved Chloe. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Yeah, well, that explains. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well <laughs> savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. <laughs> you already made okay, that's a pretty bad voice acting. Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have him. I'm confused scared. though. Town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Hey, he is as sick He's as you. As sick as you. Like... Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I help Nathan realize his vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed it's, him. I mean, he became a sort of father figure. I don't. That's uh, weird. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the press conference. So is Frank Didn't actually? Paid for this glorious dark room and equipment. Uh, How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Wow. Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. I can't wait to destroy Nathan you. I thought he could be an artist like me. I am going Instead, to destroy you. The dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. 
You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool, anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, <laughs> You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father. Jesus Christ. But not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. Really? After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Interesting. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision hmm. with amateurs. Interesting. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. <laughs> For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. You just gotta figure out how. Your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. Nice, right, bought my mic. I apologize. I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. Anything else I could do? I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't Weird. need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. <gasps> This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. How come it's letting me do this? What's now? I can see why your instant Speak. camera is so appealing. No! No! I was too slow. Okay. Speak. Wait. Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Give me my journal, damn you! My diary. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Is he gonna give it to me? Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Thanks! Bye, asshole! Bye! Oh, we can go back far enough to save Chloe, I bet. Alright, skip this crap. Cool. How's this gonna work? We're going back pretty dang far. It's taking on what? Day three, I think? Episode three? Come on, music should help me concentrate, but it's not. There we go. No! No! God dang it, I had it! I had it! Uh, oh, I thought it was letting me finally use it. And left mouse, right mouse button to find. I really don't understand. Like, this is a weird mini game. Hold space. There we go. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you oh, wow. in a moment of desperation. Oh, this is episode one, actually. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic camera. Right back where I started this insane week. So what the hell do you do now? And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your so how do we change? To use images for What's going on? Just from here. Oh, there's Kate. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as 
long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please <laughs> fuck tell you? us the name and, of the and, process and, that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Who cares? <laughs> who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. <laughs> thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process... What's that noise? Oh, yeah, that was on the first episode, too. Mainly because it gave Sneezes? the subjects clear Maybe? to find features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. How do we how do we fix this? First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. How do we do that? Together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. What do you do? This I is cool. David about Jefferson and the dark room. How? Cell phone? All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without per. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Uh, Don't confuse the. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Cool, let's do that. Ah, uh, no. Found you. All right. Uh, do I have to memorize this? I'm writing that down. Uh, six three oh oh no I was reading the, oh yeah eight two four three okay hopefully I don't actually have to put it in but just in case warn David for once David okay good it's not making me actually put the dang number react to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast Mr. Madison you're you're after Rachel Amber Mark is guilty his dark room is under Prescott's farmhouse you know the location there you go stop him. Should lead. Oh, nice. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. <gasps> so maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Yeah. Am I pushing myself too hard? What's this? It doesn't matter what. Oh, Victoria. We'll stay on board. We could have been friends. Time to. Bust out my what? Posy? I did say posy. Why did you, why did I give up a word for the image? Because I saw Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody loves everyone in here loves him. But he seems to care about Maxi. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. And via sin, Vic, get over yourself. This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. Dang, I can't believe all this crap on right not now. Hurt Kate Marsh this time. Oh, paper ball, right? I'm sad for Kate, but so happy she's alive. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. How am I gonna do this? Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max? That makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. <gasps> I, I, I'm gonna I don't save know her. What to say. That's oh okay. my god. Neither do I. <gasps> yes! Maybe we could both. Oh! Can't say Rachel, unfortunately. Hello, Victoria. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Oh, you give right up. Right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Hey, Mr. To? Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see? I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows. 
that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To oh my god, them? this is amazing! Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay. Is Jefferson I just let this happen? I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Oh my god, look at her weird then neck. I guess I'm <laughs> talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the everyday <gasps> What is it? I'm contest. really curious. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I... Uh, I wish you could be a picture of the dark room. I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you Oh, I know what picture it is. It's the picture that's been using for all the advertising. Yeah, it's her standing in front of all and our Black pictures. Well, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. Ha <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Innocent. Or guilty. Fuck you! Uh, well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be... He is so uncomfortable. I love it. Well, maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. Ah. Is you going to find out, Mr. Jefferson? He's very interested. In fact, maybe I later on I'm a little too difficult. What changes? Why is that changing? Please let. Why? Okay. It stayed the same. Everything else is staying the same. <gasps> he got busted! But what's the what's what's the bad? There's bad things happening. you Jefferson go fuck yourself eating dinner together nope oh finding Rachel alrighty what is this oh her game her picture in framed yay so happy go fuck yourself Jefferson Yay, Chloe's alive. That makes me so happy. I just noticed all the stuff in the background it isn't like ashes and stuff. It's, uh, it's other photos. What is this? Who's leaving? Who taxied? Who taxied? Who? Whoa. Where am I going? Am I going to Seattle? Okay. You're okay, Max. There he is, Jefferson! I'm just kidding. I want to play. With Wells? Well, I'm not with Principal Wells. I hope I did everything right this time. Is it really going to be that easy? Independent local teacher arrested. Good work, David. What do I got here? Holy shit, Max, you're all so proud of my superstar is just start your career. Oh, you're alive. Yes. Oh, you're alive. Something bad happened though. I did it. The episode literally just started. We're like I fixed everything. Thirty minutes well, in this sir. to this episode. So clearly not all as well as, as it seems. To the window. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Yeah, what does this mean? We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. I was gonna say 137 miles, that's quite far, but your phone, sir. Jesus Christ. Who's freaking out? Why right, don't punch stuff? Dude. It's the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. 
Uh, two Moon Diner amid the adventure such an sensational. Oh yeah, we saw the deal with the tornado in Beach Whale. Some residents reported seeing two full moons last night at 8 p.m. when it was claimed that both moons were clear in the sky. No cell phone video footage has surfaced yet, which has led to a local mirror. I believe that we're going to solar overdrive due to recent eco havoc. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young woman. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revela uh, revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, was under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Continue on the next page. Yeah, good point, actually. He did pay for that. He signed that contract. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what? Aww, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Hot Dog Man. <laughs> oh, and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. When we were innocent. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. Who's that? We're starting our descent in a few God dang old Jefferson. Oh my god, another Jefferson. Wait, is that... Is that all the students? Come fly with us anytime. Uh, Let's reuse the model. I think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't I bet have this is a on. nice break for Principal Wells. I don't get why he's with me, to be honest. I really like this episode. I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Oh. Just a bit. It's been a tough week in Blackwell. Whoo-wee! So I hope you'll forgive me. I will Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. Why am I on this That's plane, smart man? Telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. Like we know, know a tornado's coming. Not Why didn't exactly I reject this trip? The guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. <laughs> With all your snoring. And all your snoring. Uh oh. Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. So, what happens now? Am I just lost in time now? Is that my. Is that my sacrifice for this happening? Like, was that just a showcase of time passing? I doubt it, right? But I feel like... It wasn't just... I mean, I feel like time isn't going by normally, right? Look at all these people. Look at this art, like it means something. It doesn't! You're all frauds! I'm the only real artist here. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long <laughs> as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You Is everything so fuzzy? Want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not no, a kid anymore. I'm looking outside. Fact, nothing's fuzzy. You're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell. I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. <laughs> Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Okay, this episode's way too long. Uh, come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Yeah, no kidding, man. I'm assuming it's still rewind time. Dang, Principal Wells, you literally just teleport up there. 
Thank you. Oh, sir, Max. You did it. Thank you. Somehow. Thank you, everybody. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Is this the real reality, though? Life is weird. No, strange. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Life is Strange. Next one, we will peruse this gallery and talk to people <sighs> and stuff. Max says goodbye. Bye! Can we... Oh, wow, we do have journal entries. Sister of mine... And we have, ooh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, as if to remind me of Arcadia's Bay ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon, or that's what <coughs> it looked like really before the clouds rolled over. I squinted. I shrugged my eyes like a dork just to make sure my vision, my, my iris wasn't foggy. Was it another sign of environmental illusion, or just people saw it too? Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. Yeah, she didn't care. So she went to the gym looking for Nathan. If I could catch up, Nathan didn't, doesn't know that he's running out of time to. No irony intended. We are. Um, my first and last Vortex Club party. Flashing lights and DJ Doom. No comment. Spinning an alternate reality. I might have been at this party standing in the corner shy, nervous, waiting for someone to ask me to dance, but uh, being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me. But uh, I had to find Chloe first and Nathan before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she's actually just a terribly insecure person with a talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no good reason. But that doesn't mean she'll step outside herself to look at me without her hair. I tried to uh, beyond our pretty mean girl drama, assuming she has a role to play in all, the, all of this, but she went listen to me, and I had to find Chloe. So I just warned her and left, hoping the actual human... Being deep inside her, got the information, and considered taking it seriously. Fair enough. I should find my winning selfie. Joe 11, I guess. I watched Chloe die again. Killed by my favorite teacher. Why? Because we were stupid and let Jefferson trick us with a phony text. So we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his trap. We should have called the police the second we found Rachel, but I had gone along too far with Chloe. I kept thinking I'm invincible, but I'm a real everyday superhero. But no, I'm just Max Caulfield. Maybe all my powers are an accident of, or a fate. Am I being punished like Chloe? What have we done to deserve all this pain? What did Rachel do? Kate? William? Uh, then there's Mark Jefferson. I can't ever call him Mr. again. I'm still shocked that he turned out to be the one hiding, be hiding behind the dark room. But if I think back on those pieces of time Jefferson have been dropping hints all along, it makes me sick to think how he's been doing this f for and to whom. The needle, I could still feel the needle on my skin. Thank God I can't remember Jefferson posing me from for most of his sixth session. Imagine all those other people who had suffered through the through that horror like Rachel and Kate. That made me determined to get out of that room and at least stop him and save Chloe. I had to use my focus rewind on multiple photos so often that I even got confused. We're still, I knew I was screwing around with various realities again, but I had no other choice. Chloe would not die in a junkyard next to Am Rachel Amber and there was no fucking way I was going to let Miss let Jefferson be the last person I ever saw it's hard to imagine myself in that studio alone with Jefferson acting like that everything was so neat and sterile but it felt like the filthiest place on earth if I didn't have this ability to bend time what would I have done what could I have done sometimes I felt removed I was looking at myself going through this hell but thanks to Jefferson's class photo he personally helped me escape I'll never forget the way Jefferson looked at me, so cold and mean. I felt like I was on one of those awful true crime shows my mom binge watches. How does someone become evil? He actually shot Chloe in the head, just like that motherfucker. I wish the police had taken Nathan in, and after I told Principal Wells that Joe Kate, he might still be alive, and maybe he would have taken out Jefferson too. I actually got a comment in one of my videos saying I should blame Jefferson when the time comes uh, when we're in the... Uh, Principal Wells office after Kate died but of course I didn't know to do that so I didn't do that and I'm kind of glad I didn't do that because I'm almost curious I'm curious what that would have looked like I might look that up later I can't believe I was able to focus rewind into my selfie all the way back to art class on Monday I turned in my photo for the contest after I sent a text to David warning him about Jefferson <coughs> Whew. the only reason I haven't I told him about the fact that I have this incredible power I have to use it right for once and maybe never again. It was so weird to be in class with Jefferson. Like I wasn't just tortured by him in an underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is. A creepy manipulative psychopath filled with bullshit. He uses art and passion to seduce people. But behind that there's nothing but hate and perversion. I only pray that I can fix this timeline not fuck it up. 
Max of the future. It feels like I finally made things right. Chloe's alive. David Madsen became a real everyday hero by busting Jefferson in his dark room along with Nathan and his father. The Prescotts have lost control of Arcadia Bay. Now I'm an official everyday hero on my way to San Francisco with Principal Wells, who is a lot more funny and laid back when he's not stressing about Blackwell Academy. It's hard for me to totally relax, but all those pieces of time seem to be falling into place. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye. Oh, there's still text messages. Dang it. Warren. Um, uh, death make appointments. <laughs> yeah. Max Jefferson. What the fuck? Insane, right? Did you ever suspect him? Of what? You just seem like a cool teacher. I thought you. You kind of crushed on him. Sorry. Should be. I admired his work. Not anymore. Fuck him. He's history. Yes, he is. Do I have to make appointments? You know? Oh, please. But yes, you do. It's cool <laughs> that you want. Thanks for it. It feels weird. Oh, my God. Kate's alive now. Oh, my God, Max. Can't believe that Nathan and Jefferson were arrested. Honestly, I'm in shock. I have to go talk to the police now and give a full statement. Okay. Just let me know if you need me there. We all have your back. Thank you. I'm scared, but I want to make sure both of them are put away and never hurt anyone again. Max, I heard that you won the contest and made me happy. Your photos are so real and wonderful. It gives me hope that there's going to be this. You're going to be discovered now. Thank you, Kate. You gave me hope by being my friend. Don't be so humble. Take a bow. I expect a full report or over high tea soon. That is a date. Um. Hi, I hope you enjoyed. All right. No fucking way. You should have won. The EH contest. I bet you blackmail Jefferson. You should have used that photo you took of me covered in paint. That's what an everyday hero does, right? Victor, I'm sorry. That's in the past, though. Thanks, Gandhi, but I'm still going to make your life hell. Good luck with that, asshole. Um, Maxine, are you there? Are you okay? I just heard the news about this art teacher you're always talking about. What's going black? Well, well I'm fine. Too much text is crazy. I'll call you later. I promise. I hate <laughs> you being away like this. Don't keep me away. I won't. Maxine, we are so proud, 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 proud. Thank you. You know we always believe in you and your photos. Of course, yeah, that's why I'm at Blackwell. Meanwhile, Jefferson's sitting there like, How the hell did I get caught? There's no way I could have possibly have been caught. Covered all my tracks. Max, 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 snap, snap, tap. I'm working on a new cheer for you. Damn, that's so awesome. I'll bless you. That's because you're on fire, girl. Uh, Max, I know I know. mom is melting your phone. I said, well, I don't have to worry. You're not on all. You can tell her. I will soon. Um, how far? Good lord. Uh, Max, I see right now. I know what happened to Rachel. Me in the house. When you get this, I'll be there. I hope she's fine. Max, thanks for being with me yesterday. I don't know how far back we live. Rachel would have a great list. Truly the best revenge. Now, wait. Wait, yeah, this is. Being with me yesterday, I keep. Trying to wake up like a nightmare. Why wait, Chill. She never hurt anyone. No, she didn't, Chloe. I'm so sorry about everything. Dude, how do we get over shit like this? We live. Rachel would have wanted you to have a great life. That's truly the best revenge. No, we really do have to take over the world. No, we just have to be there for each other. You are Saint Max. Yo, Mass Max, check this shit out. I had a little talk with my step hero tonight. Aw, I'm all eyes. Since he busted Jefferson, he's a totally different person. He has uh, been very cool and apologized for his behavior. That's so sweet, Chloe. Now you're a family again. Whoa, Whoa, down, sister. I did not cry in his arms, but he did. But he helped me help find Rachel and punish her killers. David obviously hella cares about my mom. Probably me. And yes, I am hella bored with nothing to do. What you doing, hippies? Some of us hippies have homework. No shit, Sherlock. I already did my paper for Bay City College. I'm proud of you. Aw, that's cute. I hope so. Chloe, I won the everyday heroes contest. Sorry. Holy shit, you rule, Max. I'm so proud of you. My superstar is just started your career. I'm so glad I could share it with you. Damn right. Plus, Max, you deserve it. <gasps> emoji! No emoji! <laughs> <coughs> I tried so hard to let that... <coughs> <coughs> to not cough till I stop recording. I'm sorry. Bye, everyone. <coughs>